Welcome back, Plug Nation. It's your boy, Badge Plug. And today, man, we have some very important next-gen NBA 2K21 info to talk about. So last year, right before 2K20 came out, there was a huge leak that dropped, and we seen what the actual park looked like, and a lot of people were calling it fake, but then it turned out that it was real because YouTube was actually striking people's channels, or 2K was going on YouTube and striking people's channels. Now, I wasn't a part of one of the people that got striked because I deleted my video, but all I'm saying is, in case these leaks are real, Please drop a like. I'm risking getting a strike on my channel. Once you get three strikes, you lose your channel. So please drop a like. That way it gets into recommended more and more people can see it before it gets deleted. Now, a lot of people recently have been talking about this on Twitter, and I want to know your guys' opinions as well. The Real Dog said, no BS. NBA 2K18 is better than 21 current gen. And as you guys seen, that had 2,700 likes. That's pretty viral for the 2K community. Now, I already know my answer, and I know 2K21 current gen has a lot of flaws, but I do know for sure that I know 2K21, in my opinion, is better than 2K18. But I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below which game do you think is better, 2K18 or 2K21. Now, the main reason why I would say 2K18 is not a better game is because of the blow buys and snatch. You could literally start from the top of the court and run up or down, and that's all you had to do. You run up, you can blow by your defender. If they catch you too good, you can snatch back and shoot the ball, and that's literally the only thing you had to do to win games. So this has been going around the community. Aiden posted on Twitter last night. He said, NBA 2K20 is so much more fun than NBA 2K21, and that's crazy. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section how you feel, but let's get straight into the big news okay if you guys haven't dropped a like yet please do that for me and let's get into it so we have a few screenshots of the supposed nba 2k21 next gen build system and a few other things as well and i want to let you guys know that before going into this video and making it i've checked ld2k's twitter ronnie2k's mitch's and i haven't seen any of them deny this so I have no idea, and we're going to talk about if I think it's legit or not as well. And the last thing I'm going to say before we hop in is that in the last 2K article we got about the next-gen game, they told us that the build system is very much improved or something like that. I don't know the exact words, which to me sounds like it's kind of like 2K20 and 2K21 build system, but a little bit different. So it's going to look similar, and that's one thing that's making me think it's legit right off the bat but anyway we're going to be going over all the screenshots that came out today the first channel i've seen it from is brutal sim you guys should go subscribe to him he's got a great 2k news channel and the first screenshot is the build screen where you're putting the attributes on as you see it says set your my player's potential and on the right side it shows you the potential badges that you're earning on this player as well as it says it goes to a 95 overall because the last two years this went from 95 to 99 you only get to 95 with your attributes and you earn it from playing so this looks like a legit screenshot and one thing that i noticed right away is it seems like this year, if this is real, you're doing your speed, your acceleration all by yourself, or maybe that goes up as you're doing your build. I have no idea, but this looks like a really nice screenshot. If someone did fake this, they're really good at what they do. You know what I'm saying? They're definitely pretty good at that. And they've moved a bunch of things around as well. You see the badges are on the right side, how it's showing you which ones you're gonna earn apparently, and which ones you can get Hall of Fame, and which ones you can get gold, as well as what it looks like. Like if you see the, uh, the shooting badges, it looks like it's saying that he can get some Hall of Fame, but at the same time, he can only get some of them gold. So I don't know, it's looking cool. Like if this is how the game really is, then I like it. It looks similar to 2K20 and 21, but you know, you got the speed and the physicals and you're putting all that together. So I wonder if you're actually upgrading your speed and all that, or that just goes up with what you upgrade, or maybe it goes up with your build. I don't know. I have no idea, but let's get into the next screenshot. You guys let me know how you feel about that in the comment section down below. The next one is the takeover screen, which is after you're putting your attributes on and you select your wingspan, your weight and all that. And this one, it looks, you know, I don't know. This one is weird. It looks like a collection of the pictures put together. So this is one that makes me think that it's kind of not legit because like, let's look at this, okay? Interior badge drop. Now we know that's the rim protector badge. It says drop the opposition's offensive badges down a tier when getting near them in the paint. The next one is the slasher badge, which is easy blow buys, enhances the ability to drive by defenders, making it easier to get to the rim. And on the right side, that is the glass cleaner badge. And it looks like clearing dimes glass clearing dimes i have no idea it, what it seems to me is that you're grabbing the board and that when you pass it out you have some sort of dimer effect which we'll talk about in just a second but this screenshot 
It, it looks weird to me. It looks like a collection of pictures put together. Now, I don't know if the guy who leaked this meant to do that and he meant to make it look like one screen. To me, it does look like a collection of pictures where he's hovered over it. You guys see where it's showing the description of it. So it looks like it was meant to be put together like that. So that doesn't make me think it's any more or less legitimate because if the screen just looked like this, when you're on the actual game and they were trying to make it look like that, I would definitely, cause you know, like it looks sideways. Look at the middle one, it looks like it's tilted a little bit. The one on the right is tilted. The one on the very left looks great, it looks centered, but the other ones are kind of tilted. So it's definitely not on the same screen, all right? It's not the same screenshot they're all put together, which is cool. Now in this next one, it gets a bit deeper. We see interior badge drop, easy blow buys, glass clearing dimes. Then we see, it looks like an advanced takeover. I'm guessing is what it means like okay see the future or actually no this looks like a different set of takeovers so i guess they're trying to say because you see from the bottom there's two glass cleaning takes but they have different words different descriptions and also the slashing take one's easy blow buys and one is advanced gathers so i'm thinking maybe that it's two different takeovers you can choose from in the same grand badge so one is the glass clearing dimes, which I'm guessing you grab a board, you throw it out, you have some sort of dimer effect. The next one is see the future, which is very obvious what that is. The glass cleaning take on 2K20, 2K21, 2K19. You get that when someone misses a shot, you can see where the board is going to go. So that's what see the future means. Advanced gathers. I don't know. This one, it says more effective euro spin hop and cradle gathers and avoids jam ups so i don't know guys you let me know in the comment section down below like i said i've checked ld2k's twitter i've checked mitch's i've checked ronnie's maybe by the time this video came out someone has denied it but so far i haven't seen them answer a question on if this is real or not remember guys i'm not trying to pass this as real i'm giving it to you guys if it is it is but we're just talking about 2k21 next gen we're just hype for the next game we want to know you know we're trying to get this information so if you guys don't know if you didn't see yesterday's video we're actually about two days away right now from getting information like real 100 percent confirmed information on 2k21 next gen build info and badge info in the last article michael wink said at the end that in the next week because they're doing three articles with their two have already came out if you guys haven't seen those news videos make sure to go check them out but two have came out they're doing them once a week so we're on week three coming up and the last article came out four to five days ago so within the next two to three days we're gonna get some real actual information from 2k about builds and badges on 2k21 next gen now do i think that is real i actually don't know i actually really don't know i'm more on the side of it being fake because i haven't seen anyone's channel get deleted like their their video get deleted or anything but i don't know last year i had the video up for like i don't even know it was like six hours or something or maybe i don't know four or five hours and my video hadn't been striked yet so maybe 2k is trying to play it off that it's you know fake because no one's got striked yet maybe that's what they were doing last year they didn't want to strike a bunch of people because then we would know for sure that it's real if they striked every single video where someone was talking about it so i don't know but i want you guys right now to comment down below that have made it this far what is one thing you think nba 2k21 needs that is new on next gen something that's never been in the game before i'm going to give you guys a quick little wish list that i got hopefully 2k is listening change badges jump shots animations on the spot be able to buy boost and change clothes etc so you should be able to do a bunch of things you guys know how you have to wait for games this year a lot of people unless you're a youtuber really you're waiting for games you're not getting back-to-back -back games in the middle of those games you should be able to buy jump shot boost you should be able to change your clothes should be able to change your badges stuff like that a lot of things that the old 2ks used to have that 2k took out a big one for me is don't end the streak if your teammate lags out so say i'm on a win streak and my teammate lags out and i you know i hit up my friend i'm like yo i'm on a win streak 
I need you to come pull up and join the park and hop on because my friend lagged out. Well, it doesn't matter because this year, if someone lags out and before the next game even starts, even if I'm still on the spot and someone hops on, it just ends the streak right away. Or say I want my teammate, I'm on a 80 win streak and my teammates hopping off and I, you know, I could just get another teammate to keep running and try and get to 100. Well, as soon as he hops off, the streak ends no matter what. So I think they should definitely change that for next year. Also, maybe add, and you know, you're going to have to crack down on the boosters 2k but add some sort of system where we can actually get more rep and stuff for being on a win streak okay so remove shot aiming for sure remove shot aiming i've already dropped a few videos on that you guys know shot aiming is very overpowered but i've got another one coming really soon that's not me doing it but yeah um very game breaking stuff that's coming out very soon that i don't think anyone's posted a video on yet that has to do with the shot aiming less expensive clothes back in the day if you guys are OGs, drop a like on the video, 2K16, 2K17, stuff like that. You could buy clothes, very nice, you know, 2K would drop clothes, 700 BC, 800 BC. Now, if you want to buy some nice clothes, 15K VC, 20K, like that's just crazy. Add a spawn location for everyone. So instead of a rep reward where you get to spawn in on like one of the three spots, let everyone pick exactly where they want to spawn in. If I want to spawn right there at the Tua's Court, that should be what i want to do you know what i'm saying i don't have to run and waste 60 seconds of my time every single time i want to play a twos game the last one is there's already a 3v3 pro-am go ahead and add a 2v2 pro-am for the twos players you know what i'm saying why is that not in the game i don't know just putting the ideas out there 2k putting it out there for you guys to tell 2k as well if you agree Drop them down below what you guys think is a good idea. I might add to my list. Maybe it'll get on 2K. Maybe more people will talk about it. Maybe 2K will put it in the game. I have no idea, but hey, at least we try at the end of the day to put these ideas into the game. You know what I'm saying, guys? Anyway, it's your boy Bash Plug. You've been plugged in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Drop a like if you haven't yet. Comment down below how you feel about this video, how you feel about the leaks. One thing 2K21 should have that's new, never been in any 2K ever, and I'm out. Peace.